Hi, Ash. How are you? Uh, I'm doing okay today. Yeah, um, still in these four walls, but uh, making the most of it and operating my walls as well with, with light. That's um, uh, quite an adventure. Absolutely. I see you are very branded today and I'm loving the cake cards <laughs> hoodie and your background. And yeah. unfortunately, I don't have a hoodie, so I do have an awesome deck of cards here. Uh-huh. So I'm excited to play with them, but I would like to get a awesome hoodie. Background. Thank you. <laughs> yes, um, it's very beautiful. A charity shop find. It was a real stunner. I love finding quirky things in the yeah. places you'd least expect. So, yeah. Lovely. Uh, so today, do you want to introduce what we're doing and then I'll facilitate it and then? Yeah, we can too. Okay. Uh, so I am, well, we, James and I today are going to be playing with some kit cards, which is awesome. So I have had a deck for ages. I actually already use them, but I don't use them probably in the way I should. I don't know as much about them as I would like. So that's why we thought it would be a great idea to have this chat. Um, the way I use them at the moment is I have a diary and I use a particular card and then kind of reflect on whatever the, the question is. Um, probably do that about once a week. Um, but I find it really helpful for me just to think about things in a different way. But I know that there's so much power in this pack. So that's why I would love to find out what I'm missing and actually play with them with someone. So that's why we kind of thought it would be fun to do this. Right. Um... There's no wrong way of using them, and I think uh, you're getting some good value from them. Uh, what I do do is um, what I can do within the facilitated sessions, so somebody outside of your business can come in and help you uh, work through your ideas. Uh, I will be, I'll be the facilitator for this, so I will try and step back, let you have your ideas flow. If ever it gets to the point where they're not uh, coming as they should, uh, I can step in and kind of give you a few, throw a few questions around. Um, so this is... Um, my innovation tool for businesses, uh, it is actually, it was actually launched at, officially at Startup Week last year, so it's officially one year old uh, right now, which is great. Um, it's, so hang on a second, it's your birthday today. It's kind of a birthday, I guess. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'll yeah. stop interrupting, but that is so cool. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so it's a deck of poker size cards. Um, there are seven instruction cards. There are uh, three discussion cards. They help you keep discussion on track if you're in a team. Uh, there are four aspect cards, which help give you different angles once you get familiar with how the cards work. Uh, but the main um, beef of them is uh, are those, which are uh, question cards, prompt cards. So there are 42 of those in the deck. Uh, they've each got a guided discussion on. Uh, so you sort of work through, um, pull through your ideas. Uh, the idea is it, it helps you see stuff that you wouldn't necessarily already see. The idea is to kind of go thinking in spaces that are um, uh, not already in your head. So the, the objective is to find your second answer to things, your third answer. Um, so what we do is we'll play this. Um, we'll... Um, we'll say how you go with them and we'll uh, maybe talk about what happened, how they worked at the end of that. Uh, so, right, let's go. Uh, if you want to uh, shuffle your question card deck, so the red back, if you want to separate the red back ones uh, and give us a bit of a shuffle and then pick one at random. Okay, I just thought I didn't introduce myself. So I am Ash. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Ashley King and I have a business called Days Like This Are Sweet Creative Consultancy Limited which is a long thing I wish going back that <laughs> made it shorter um, actually my whole business was around um, events and creative industries and you know connecting charities with um, fundraising and just helping people to get more visible so it started all in events and then it became social media as well and communications um, marketing um, so I guess the thing to tell you is that with this lockdown I have been really struggling in terms of my entire business model has changed but that's great because it means there's so much opportunity for improvement and adaptation so, you know, some of my business that's like online communications or social media management is still there, but I have started 
um, I already podcast, but I've started working on a podcasting course for beginners. And that's kind of where I'm going to be interested in playing from today. But who knows what the cards will bring? Perhaps other things will, you know, come through. So that's just a bit of a, uh, okay. guess, some help for you knowing where my context is. Definitely. So what sort of structure do you have for this um, podcast course so far? What? Tell me just a very, very little bit about yeah, it. Absolutely. So I decided to use a tool called Simplero, which is an online e-learning platform. I have a Facebook group as well, so people can get some extra added value and discussion place in there. Um, and I also have rounded up around 90 people to be testers, just to validate the market and my assumptions. So that's where I'm at now. Um, and yeah, there's already been some challenges and we can, you know, we can play with those, but mainly just things like tech stuff, you know, or um, sometimes people are not getting the emails. So I'm using this fabulous integrated tool that saves me lots of money. So I don't have to have a CRM and MailChimp and all these different things. But sometimes things are going wrong already. And that's exactly why I wanted to test everything before it went to market properly. Um, okay. So that's my context. Great. So, so I'll pick one, and the one that I want to pick is uh, it's number 491. So you probably shuffle them all up so they're not in order, uh, but it's called First Class Service. Okay. I'll give you, if you can find that one from the deck, that would be helpful. Wow, these are so good for me right now in my situation. I love that. I actually think I'm going to go through all of these when I'm on my own and work through them because they're really powerful. Um, okay, first class service. Just, just funny, this, this is the website. There's um, Each card is online and there's a web address on the back of the cards and there's a bit more information and sometimes links and videos and stuff. So that's where I'm pulling this from at the moment. Okay. All right, you got first class service. Yes, yes. So I like this one a lot. Uh, this is about... Um, Finding, like trying to put everything into, it, forget all your constraints, put everything in, into service for one person, one individual. Don't worry about how problematic that would be. Just kind of imagine what an amazing service you could give for just one person if you had unlimited resources. And from that, the idea is that um, you can maybe pull back from that huge lofty goal that's going to be unachievable and bring back some really good stuff from that. So let's try that. Uh, so, pick a single specific customer and design an ultimate experience around them. So, what I want you to do is to think about one of your uh, what do you call them? Courses, course tutees. I guess they would be learners at the moment they testers, but yes, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess, so, yeah, yeah, a learner. Imagine, imagine one learner and imagine you could do anything to make their experience amazing. Don't put any limits on that at all. Uh, okay. Hmm. So you're full focus on a customer. Profit is not considered and that your resources are unlimited. Okay. Okay. So I think I can go with this one. So Good. I'm going to go with the avatar in my mind about a coach. So it's going to be busy female coach. So what I want for this person, they'll have seen me maybe a few times on my Note to Your Z podcast online they will want to set up something that's going to attract visibility to their coaching services. And what they want is something that's going to be really smooth and efficient for them and teach them everything they need to know because they don't have the time to get everything set up and they just want to be fast tracked. So they're happy to pay a premium as well um, because they want everything that they can get. So in this instance, what I would really want to do for this customer is make sure that uh, whether it's you know, through seeing me on my website or adverts that I just come across really natural and authentic and someone that they would trust and want to work with. And then I feel that um, the sales process that they go through would be really easy so they can find the things that they're looking for. So for example, it might be 
actually when they um, buy their course, it could be that they have the opportunity to buy that notebook we spoke about earlier so that they have all the course materials. They don't have to actually sit and print them out or sit and download them or try and edit something that's a PDF and it can be quite difficult to do. You know, they, they can just get that delivered to their house or to their Kindle or whatever it might be. Um, I would love to be able to have a pack, maybe like wholesale um, kit, like sound kit. So uh, my sound stuff, like my headphones, my mic, my pop shields, everything cost me less than 80 pounds because that's what I could afford right now in the lockdown. But other people are spending up to 10K. But for me, it's working really well. So I would want to be able to give them a really accessible way to just buy the kit then and there everything they need is going to turn up in a box rather than them having to go through lists and Google all sorts of things. So I already have things like that. You know, I have um, recommended equipment, but if they could just buy it from me and it would just arrive to them almost like drop shipping, that would be great. I would love that, you know, all of their invoice and their password and login details is all sent to them fully automated they don't miss out on the emails, which is what I'm struggling with at the moment. You know, they, they get all the emails. Um, they get a series of really uh, thoughtful and meaningful emails. So it's not just doesn't feel, you know, like all about me, but it's more about them and how I can help them. And they are able to find my groups online. They're able to go in and know where everything is. It's fully structured. It's really powerful. They can see what the learner journey is and they can see how they would fit into that and what they need to do. And I want it to be so slick that they go, wow, this is amazing. I'm actually really excited about this. I am going to, um, you know, go and block time out in my diary for this, or I'm going to go and tell my friends. But ultimately, what I really want them to do is to be able to launch their podcast and reach new people and really share their message with the world. So um, ultimately, at the end of it, I would love to have them featured on my website as, you know, um, this is our hall of fame of podcast enthusiasts or whatever it might be called I don't know I'd have to think about some branding around that but you know um, actually have like a success story but also a way to celebrate them so it might be that I send them a little pin in the post you know you're part of our podcast learner alumni or whatever it might be you know something that makes them feel special and like they've really achieved something um so yeah just really as slick as possible and just time saving but I feel you said, don't worry about the restraints, which is why I've gone for it with that. I'm very mindful in the back of my mind. Well, you you really struggle with structure. So how are you going to get there? <laughs> so don't worry about any, I absolutely don't worry about any constraints. And I'm going to take that further. So what you've described is uh, an A class service or an A plus class service. I want you to take that up to AAAA plus 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 uh what do we do on eBay nowadays or S rank, you know, right up there. Imagine you had one person to look after, you had unlimited time to look after them yourself, you could do anything for them, uh, you had unlimited money, you could go around to their house and sit with them and do the podcast, all that sort of stuff. What sort of service would you give? To help well, them achieve what they want to there's do? There's so much. I would want to connect them with uh, people who could help them so because I know that they've got this beautiful skill of coaching so I'd want to kind of go right here's the list of people that help me here are my editors here are my branding people you know uh, I can arrange a call for you it's all complimentary um, you know uh it would be great if you could come on my show and I can help you get visibility, get reach, you know, I can help find um, potential places that you can guest on or um, maybe I could offer them some sort of agency service or just alleviate some of the, the stuff that they might get stuck with so that they can go and create their message. I feel like that's a really hard one. How do you go even, I would love to send them something like, if it was a dream, you know, we spoke about if, if money wasn't an option, you know, I mentioned about option. this product Probably. line, I would love to send them like a goodie basket of like well-being stuff, you know, like this is a way for you to cultivate your curiosity, to be creative, to be courageous, be visible and get your message out there to um, find inspiration and to note your zest so that they actually received a, a box of goodies, you know, candles and vegan chocolate and whatever it might be you know just really lovely things that 
just light them up and make them feel special. So I'm going to just pause here and say, um, I think this is, this feels like something you haven't thought about uh, actually doing as part of the process before. And it feels like something that's um, like your eyes kind of lit up a bit when you're talking about it. And I don't think uh, that's unachievable with what, where you are now. I think you can still send, it, it might not be that you can send the exact care package that you're thinking about, but you could still welcome them with a care package of something, right? Uh, so the idea is to do that thinking, to think way, 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 way big, to get somewhere you hadn't thought of before and to bring that back and you can actually find something that you can use. Does that does that resonate? Yeah, I love that. So there is something I could do that isn't that expensive. Again, right now, we're not talking about constraints, but it's something I would need to get some capital for. But um, I love working with independent artists. I've got some great connections and I have this idea of getting uh, some cactuses from Amazon or a garden center ideally but you can get them I know on Amazon and Amazon's one place that's delivering at the moment many places aren't um, mm. but actually uh, get a series of cactuses delivered to my artist who would then also paint some pots in a very particular style that fits my brand and so that when people then um, you know, join the program, uh, they get sent a little cactus in a pot. So it's like, so that as that, or it doesn't have to be a cactus, perhaps there could be some some seeds or wildflowers so that as their podcast grows and, and their idea grows, you know, they grow with me on the journey. Um, and I think that would then remind them, oh, wow, you know, my, my uh, seeds are, are growing here, you know, um, so my story and my ideas growing and I think that is a more accessible way if we dial it back even smaller in a way that I can afford right now then yes I could probably send people some wildflower seeds that were yeah. branded or wouldn't that say something yes it would <laughs> uh, like just that sort of thing of, of surprise and delight is is uh something very special I think and you, you capture I think you're right I think you kind of capture the idea of that big thing in that small thing um and it also gives you a little bit of a touch point talking point in the future these are very uh, powerful james i'm <laughs> honestly i'm sitting here like there's so much going on in my mind right now so, so this is where i want to get to so i think uh for the previous card uh i think we explored some stuff for this card i think we've started going into territory you haven't been in before and that's i think where the real power lies uh and what i want people to recognize it's hard to get across. Um, okay, so that's great. Do you want to continue some more with this card? I, I sort of paused that, um, but I'd be happy to talk about it some more, uh, see if we can think of other things. I mean, yeah, let's explore the rest of the card. I do feel like I don't... I love this idea of the A-plus service, and, you know, that was really hard for me, but I, I really like that. It's helped me come up with this idea of actually sending something because that was always mm. a dream, but I didn't know how to incorporate it. But mm. yes, I would love to have, you know, like maybe retreats or um, these creative events I spoke of where maybe some of the cohort can come together or speak on stage or whatever it might be. Um, so the, yes, that is part of the, you know, the top tier dreams but i i do find this helpful and i think there'll probably be is there anything else on this card maybe that we need to talk about or that slightly different perspective on it uh and we kind of moved through for that one specific idea we moved through to the end of the card which was consider which processes and feelings you might be able to bring across to your current offering uh i think we did that um i think there's probably still quite a bit around um this idea of just taking one person uh, and really getting in deep with what they want to achieve, uh, that if you had unlimited resources, that you could, you could spend uh, three months going out for coffees with them and figure that out um, as you kind of uh, dream thing. And then actually you could bring that back to something a bit more realistic with a more automated process. I think there's lots of stuff like that. Um, I'd love to do some more. I, I'm very conscious that we've, we've, we've spent a good chunk of time um so i think if you don't mind i'd like to leave that as uh an exercise for you yeah please give me homework i love homework <laughs> i think that's a very definite good thing to play around with yeah and i think as well um you know 
homework's good too or exercises to leave me with because it might leave whoever's watching this you know with something that they feel they can take away or that's actionable um and on that note you know I know I'm very fortunate I've already got a pair of sorry a pack of kit cards um (laughs) but I just wondered if um you know for those who haven't got a pack yet you know how can they get one because they are really powerful Sure, the sales bit. If you go to www.kick.cards, uh, it's all there. Um, and I sell packs of them. I dispatch them at the moment about once a week. And uh, Royal Mail's taking a bit longer than it used to do, but um, I've got a nice, I've got a nice packaging flow, and I, I just drop them through the, uh, the local letterbox, and everything's everything's fine. Um, Perfect. Yeah. So www.kick.cards. But you can also sign up for. Uh a series of emails where you'll get to oh. test some of the cards out which is pretty awesome as well yeah you're, you're a bit more on top of this than i am um yes you so the website has uh, a thing called kit club which is basically i want people i appreciate that these cards are a little bit under, difficult to understand the power of them without actually seeing them so there are four examples of cards on the website you can see on the front page uh if you sign up for kit club which is a free thing you just put in your email address uh it'll send you three months of cards once a week on a rotation uh, so that's quite a lot of content um, and then if you buy the deck of cards there's a little um, code on the front that lets you unlock the whole deck and you'll have the whole 42 coming to you on a, on a rotation so yeah you can get you get you can play with the content for free uh, definitely perfect well yeah that was great I think that was probably more than we wanted to say wasn't it so thank you everyone for watching and uh, I really enjoyed that oh my gosh I love that it is so good i've come away with so much learning so on that note let's say goodbye to our listeners <laughs> hello everybody i'm ashley king and i have just had a kick card facilitated session with james rutherford from kick cards and i just wanted to share a testimonial with you because i have loved that it was so fun so um, I already had a pack of kick cards and these are brilliant because it's a box full of these fabulous questions um, that really help you to think about your business and your business journey. So if you see here, there's a whole bunch of them, you know, you can flick through and, and think about different ones. And um, the thing I found really powerful with these cards is, you know, we played uh, three of them and actually it was really amazing because I already had this set, so I have been using them with a notebook and I've been answering the questions, you know, one at a time uh, in my notebook and thinking about them and, you know, really working through them in a reflective way. But actually having someone to bounce ideas off and to talk to and, you know, having that um, extra um, person and their perspective has been really helpful, especially since James is a facilitator and created the cause. It was really, really powerful. The car that we looked at was design a first class experience. So I found that incredible because I have thought about my business in lots of ways. There's a lot of things in my head that I know and I know what I want and that kind of thing. But with this one, I felt completely lost. Actually, I actually felt um, like my whole body went into this state of like feeling awkward as in like, I don't know, I'm really stuck here. How do I answer this? And I think that's really important because sometimes we think we know things or we research things or we read stuff at very much a surface level, but going to that depth of what does that really mean, you know, is really powerful. So um, yeah, I I felt like my whole body changed. I actually was taken from a space, from one space to another where I was just really thinking in a very deep, and unique way so um the the thought and the reflections i mean we talked about a first class experience so it was about providing for my customers you know if if money wasn't a problem if resources weren't a problem if skills weren't a problem what would you love to deliver and actually we were able to get to like hugely high ambitious goals but then bring it right back to something I can do right now that's very simple that I hadn't thought of before and it's actually affordable so but it will make a big impact for my customers so I just wanted to share that with you um I hope that you would love to check these cards out as much as I love them they are so powerful they're like a little pack of 
just the most fabulous prompts. I found them really useful and actually having that session now is going to help me to use them in a completely different way. And um, yeah, I really can't say how great that was. And I feel like I'm going to have to go away and think so much about this incredible new stuff that's in my head from playing these cards. So thank you so much, James, for that session and for making this amazing product because they are, they are so powerful. Thank you.